Good evening. I was about to go to sleep, and um, I did. I went out and deliver. Every time I say I'm not going to go out and deliver, and I'm going to just take a rest for the night, I go out and deliver. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's late. It's 11:43 Central Time, and I was about to go to sleep, but something came in. I want to share with you guys. Oh, my friend Denise is feeling better. Um, she wants to thank you. Thank you for all your prayers. Um, Satan, he's, he's attacking, guys. Put on the full armor of God. And um, if we could see the spiritual warfare right now, and Satan isn't going to go after the ones he already has. He's going to go after the ones that are deemed a threat. That's us. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit dwells in you. He guides you. He strengthens you. He encourages you. He is our best friend. He is our savior. He is the savior of the world. Our bridegroom. Our everything. And we're about to see him face to face. Remember, Satan, he's out there and he's attacking because he knows his time's up. And he's not going to go out to the ones that he already has. <coughs> Excuse me. He's going to go after the ones that are deemed a threat. That's us. Time is running out. Time is very short. Whatever you're going through, I assure you, Jesus is right by your side. Back when all this started, my breathing ain't too bad right now. But um, back when all this started, back in, um, was it late May, early June? One night in particular was really bad. I mean, I, I was saying goodbye to my family and friends. I, I was even saying, I was, I was saying goodbye to my uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. I mean, I made a couple of videos, you know. And, um, I know Jesus was right by my bed. I felt his presence. I mean, he's tall, about 5'11", maybe 6 feet. I couldn't see his face naturally, or his body. You know, no hands, no feet, but I knew he was there. I, I, I just, it's like, I could see him, but I couldn't see him. It's hard to explain. <coughs> that makes any sense. And I felt him saying, calm down. It's okay. He's right by your side. He never leaves us. <coughs> and he is cheering us on. Any minute. Now, I'm not saying it's going to, well, it could be any minute, it could be any month. It could be next, it could be next year, the year after, but honestly, I don't see it going that far. The way the world is now, no. I'm really thinking the rapture may happen this year. I could be wrong, but the way things are adding up, and right now, Israel's surrounded. They are surrounded. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior and you believe... And you believe he's the Son of God. He's the only way to heaven. Only way to God the Father. And everything he went through for us. The pain he went through for us. Dying on the cross. But then on the third day the tomb was empty. He's not dead anymore. He's alive. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. When you believe that. You are rapture ready. You will be raptured. <coughs> Which can happen any time. So hang in there. I know life's tough. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say, oh, things are going to get bad. Because um, every now and then I get those comments, well, your videos are all just doom and gloom. And I'm like, well, phew. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not going to say, oh, things are going to get better and life's going to go back to normal and la, 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 la. Because I'd be lying. I'm not going to say that. I'm not, I'm not, I don't sugarcoat anything. You know, it, it's, it's bad and it's going to get worse. For the world, it's going to get intensely worse. For us, we know where we're going. We know why all this is happening. God has a big neon sign and most people don't see it, man. It's really sad. A lot of Christians don't even see it. We are not appointed to God's wrath. It's the time of Jacob's trouble, not the church. <coughs> Excuse me. Put on the full armor of God. Don't give up. Stay close to the Lord, and I promise you, he will get you through. I promise you that. 
Now, this is Al Jazeera. Yes, I know Al Jazeera. It's from Al Jazeera, yes, but um, it's an article I need to report, and I want to report. It says, Israel is a, Israel's war on Gaza live. And three killed and 18 hurt in attack on El Aqsa Hospital. Let's see. And this came out, yeah, August 4th, so this just came out. I think several hours ahead out there. I've got all these pop-ups on this freaking thing. Let's see. It says, <clears throat> Israel forces bombed tents housing dis displaced Palestinians in the art of Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital in Central Deir, D-E-I-R, L Bala, B-A-L-A-H, killing at least three and wounding 18 others. The attack came hours after a deadly strike on a Gaza City school turned shelter. Hamas says it has initiated a broad consultation process to select a new leader following the assassination of Ishmael Hanaya, whatever, in the Iranian capital, Tehran. Um, let's see. This is eight minutes ago. Um, Israeli military says it hit a Hezbollah rocket launcher in southern Lebanon. The Israeli military, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> They're, oh, if you have acid reflux, like me, different, different subject real quick. Oh, I've been drinking some, you know that sleepy time tea? Oh, I love sleepy time tea. Let's drink in the raspberry flavor. <laughs> when will I learn? When will I learn? If you have acid reflux, don't drink the raspberry flavor. Stay with the uh, chamomile. Because now my acid reflux is bothering me, so I apologize. <coughs> in, in a post... <coughs> my gosh, my gosh. In a post on X, the Israeli military said its fighter jets carried out, a, um, carried out attacks on the site of Hezbollah rocket launcher and other infrastructure in the... I'm going to give this a shot here. No, I'm not. Mer... Mer... No, no, I'm not. Mer... No, no, <laughs> I have no idea. M-E-R-J-A-Y-O-U-N. I don't know. Area in southern Lebanon. I should have just said southern Lebanon. It also carried out artillery attacks on the village of El Adisha. Oh, these names which is located close to the blue line border between Israel and Lebanon. Earlier, we reported that Israel's military had carried out air raids on the Lebanese town of Blot, which is in the, that long marriage, whatever area. The Israeli attacks followed a Hezbollah rocket assault on northern Israel. The Israeli military said it detected 30 launches from Lebanon, most of which were intercepted by its air defense. Is air defenses. It said one of the rockets fell in the Beit Halal settlement, but caused no casualties. Okay, it's daytime over there now. And let's see. They got protests out there. Let's see. And um, France's sea journey. U.S. is blinking to keep up push. For Gaza Sea Star, I got news for me. It ain't gonna happen. <clears throat> I mean, it ain't gonna happen, you know. I really believe that this is gonna keep getting worse and worse. Now, some may say, well, they're always fighting out there. This one is gonna get bad. We gotta, we gotta pray for everybody out there. I, I can't imagine I'm gonna live in through having to live through this on a daily basis. Oh, I will leave the link to this in the description box, and I'm going to go to sleep. Hang in there, family. Time's short. Time is definitely short. We don't know when the rapture's going to happen. Only our Heavenly Father knows the day and the hour. But it can happen any time. Because right now Israel's surrounded. So... Good night. God bless. And I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful evening.